I recently did a video that went over five common superpowers and how they would actually suck in real life, a uh, link to which is in this video's description. So now I've decided to do the opposite with this video and go over the five best superpowers that exist. Now the idea of this video is to go over superpowers that would be good for everyday life, not what power is best for fighting crime or what the coolest powers are. Take laser vision for example, it's a really cool and really popular power and it's very destructive, but for most day to day life you'd never use it. Seriously, you might light a cigarette with it, but otherwise it's pretty much useless because we just don't have any need to create fire in modern society. Yes, if you were in a war zone it could be fantastic and save a lot of lives, but for the rest of us law abiding citizens in cities where we don't even have any open fires, or at least not that many, it just wouldn't be worth having. And the powers on this list are not chosen for violence or how much strength and power they would give you, but instead on the ways that they could help improve your everyday life. Now this not necessarily means it would help the world or other people in it, but the powers that would help an individual the most. Now we're not going to include things like cosmic power, godhood or magical power, simply because these powers are too poorly defined. Yes, we all want to be a god, I mean we'd be stupid if we didn't, but what does that actually mean? What exact abilities would it give you and how would that improve your everyday life? You might think you'd be all powerful, and maybe you would, but this list is about five well-defined powers that have existed in comics and other fiction for years, and also ones that we are all very familiar with. Immortality and or healing factor. Now the power of immortality or a healing factor is very useful to everyone for very obvious reasons, but since this is a YouTube video, let's explain it anyway. As I've said before in some of my videos, I have some pretty serious health problems. I used to be in a wheelchair and to this day I still suffer from seizures and temporary bouts of paralysis, along with some other issues that mean that the first thing I have to do when I wake up each morning is swallow a fistful of pills. Now I'm not mentioning this to get any sympathy, but to put this power in perspective and to explain to you why I would 100% go for this power over any other. Everyone on this planet gets ill, and everyone also dies. These are facts that cannot be disputed. So in the short and long term, this is the best power that there is. And being immortal or having a healing factor are powers that don't really need much of an explanation as everyone just wants to be in perfect health, because why would you not want to be in perfect health? Now obviously the downside to this is that it's hard to keep this a secret. After all, if you live past a century and don't age a day, then the people you know would definitely start getting suspicious. And even if they don't, the longer that you live, the more chance you have for being found out. And it would happen eventually, thanks to cameras and the internet, which would make keeping a secret like this pretty much impossible. Hell, every time a burnt piece of toast that looks like Jesus is found, it pretty much breaks the internet. So an immortal that actually exists would find it very hard to keep a low profile. Just ask Keanu Reeves. And of course, everyone would be jealous and you would have to watch all your friends and family age and die. And though that is tragic, can't dispute that because it is just horrible to watch people age and die. But to be honest with you, I would still take the power because everyone around you will age and die regardless of whether you have the power or not. That's just unfortunately how our lives are. And as for jealousy, well, if people aren't jealous, then it wouldn't be a power worth having, would it? Shapeshifting. As I have said, just keeping immortality a secret would be hard. But if you could shapeshift, it'd be pretty easy to keep your powers a secret, as you can look like anyone. If you ever want to escape from the police, from family, from anything really, changing into a different person would make sure that no one would find you. You could do whatever you want and never face the consequences. Even if you got arrested, you could just shift into a different person. And even though the police would be baffled how the prisoner left their jail cell when you arrived, they'd still have to let you go, as you're clearly not the same person. And what judge is honestly going to believe that you shapeshifted into someone else? No judge will believe that. You also never have to worry about bad skin, looking ugly, or even looking overweight, as you can permanently keep yourself looking young and beautiful. You'd also have perfect muscle structure and bone structure, and a permanent six pack without ever having to do anything. And you could also eat whatever you like, whenever you like, because you can't get fat. And in a society that is obsessed with looks, this is the ultimate way to win. You could even take over a celebrity's life, or anyone's life for that matter, just kill them and become them. Or if you had a conscience and didn't want to kill them, which hopefully most of us don't, then you could just turn into a celebrity and become them anyway. You could easily pretend to be a celebrity for a short period of time before anyone would even realise that there are two of them on the loose. And even if you got caught, you could just say you were a lookalike, 
The fact that you look exactly like them isn't a crime at the end of the day, so it would be pretty easy to get away with. And if people do find out there's two of you, you could just become someone else. And this is a power that is not only very practical, but it would also be a lot of fun as well. And quite frankly, I don't think there really is a downside to this. After all, what is a downside to being able to look any way you want? I mean, you'd have to keep it in your mind so you look a particular way, and shape-shifting might be quite painful, shifting all that muscle and bone and everything around. But other than that, it's pretty easy to keep. And you might not even have to focus that much once you've changed into a different form. You may just stay like that until you consciously make a change. So this is a very, very useful power. Teleportation. Teleportation is about being able to move something from one place to another instantly. And can you name any aspect of life that doesn't involve moving something from one place to another? No, because that's what life is. From simply standing up, to breathing, to getting to work, to your cells creating blood, to the tides of the ocean, to a lightning storm, to anything you can think of, it's all just atoms or heat or energy moving from one place to another. And if you can control that and move anything anywhere to anywhere else in an instant, then you would pretty much be a god. On the small scale, you'd never be stuck in traffic ever again, you could take money from any bank with no risk whatsoever, and you could travel the world doing nothing but enjoy yourself. And on the larger scale, you could conquer any nation on the planet, or indeed control the whole planet. After all, you have the power to remove every weapon on the planet, and then once you've done that, you have control over every missile, bomb and bullet. You could destroy any nation or anyone at any point. Basically, like I say, you could make yourself a god. And you could never be trapped or imprisoned, because no matter who got hold of you or where they put you, you could just teleport someone else in an instant. Hell, if you're powerful enough, you could even go to the moon or to Mars or anywhere. Some teleporters can even go into parallel dimensions, which would be amazing and a lot of fun to see different worlds. And this is actually one of the most overlooked powers there is. While teleporting is very common in comics and frequently used for the heroes and the villains, it's mainly only used to get around. Writers rarely use it to its full potential, because this power has a lot of possibilities to it. After all, say you're fighting someone who's invulnerable, like Doomsday was fighting Superman in the recent DC film. Well, you could just teleport him into the heart of the sun. You could just teleport him all the way to Pluto and he wouldn't be able to get back. You'd actually be one of, if not the, most powerful people on the planet, because this power has so many options to it. Controlling computers. In the world that we live in, being able to control computers would again make a person basically a god. Now you may think I'm exaggerating as this doesn't seem as powerful as some other powers, but I'm not exaggerating at all. Computers control the world. From an ATM to a nuclear missile, they are everywhere and control everything. Every aspect of our lives has a machine controlling it in some way or another. Yes, people are in control of those computers, they're not actually sentient and taking over, but those computers are how people control us. If you wanted money, you could just add it to your bank account with a thought, and if you even just wanted to cross the road, you could easily turn the traffic lights different colours to stop all the cars. And if you wanted something a bit better, say a Porsche, a motorbike, a helicopter, a jet, you could have one delivered to you just by thinking it. Anything you want, you could have delivered right to your door. Even if you wanted to, say, destroy China, you could send a nuclear missile that way. You want to end world hunger, have shipments of food sent to the poor. You don't even have to steal any of this, since you can add billions to your bank account and just buy it. Basically, this power allows you to have anything you want and even do anything you want. Even if you went to prison, you could easily use computers to manipulate the system and have you either released early or even pardoned. There is a lot you can do with this power. Now, it is true that you wouldn't be able to do things like cure cancer or something else with a computer, but you could arrange for the smartest people in the world to work together with a limitless budget. So you could get the smartest people with unlimited resources creating whatever you want, which means you'd probably be able to cure any health condition or create anything that you want to use. After all, having really, really smart people at your disposal is extremely useful. Which brings us to our last power, knowledge. Now, I said we weren't including certain powers because they are ill-defined, and quite frankly, some of them are just too much power for a human to realistically be able to have. After all, how does a human turn into a god? I mean, seriously, how would that even begin to work? You'd no longer be human. Hell, you may not even be on this planet anymore if you turn into a god. But anyway, just saying you have knowledge is also quite ill-defined. So we're going to define this as having a genius-level intellect and being able to create anything that you can imagine.
The Mutant Forge from the X-Men comics has the mutant power to be able to build anything that he can imagine. And to be honest, for the most part, it's a rather overlooked ability. Only a few people ever seem to realise just how useful this man can be. After all, he can build literally any crazy device, from a giant robot to a time machine. I mean, imagine being able to make anything that you can think of. You could even make a machine to control the weather, a way to make the moon have a breathable atmosphere, even a device to stop a person from ageing. All of which means that Forge is actually a very overlooked but extremely powerful man. Being a super genius, like say Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty, means you can literally do anything you want. Imagine knowing how to build teleporters or portals that can take you to another dimension, to know how to make clones of yourself and transfer your mind into a younger version of yourself. This is the ultimate power, because knowledge is power. It's what's made humans the dominant species on the planet, and knowing everything would also be a lot of fun, because it's just great knowing stuff that other people don't. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want to know everything? It would be extremely useful, and it would also be awesome just to know everything. It would change your life in every conceivable way, and it'd be a change for the better. In fact, you'd probably know enough about genetics and the human body that you'd be able to give yourself every superpower on this list and more. Of course, there is the downside that someone will try to use you for their own personal gain, or use the machines that you make for sinister purposes. But to be honest, that kind of thing happens with all technology. And quite frankly, I think this is a very small downside when compared to what you'd be able to do with a super genius level intellect. And though I have said that I would definitely go for healing powers over everything else, knowledge would definitely be a close second, mainly because I would be able to give myself healing powers and immortality and then other stuff as well. And I think everyone can agree that if you just knew everything instantly, it would make life so much easier. After all, we spend the first 18 or so years of our lives just learning how to live in our own society. Being a super genius would mean at the age of two, you'd be the smartest person on the planet. And who the hell wouldn't have loved to have been the smartest person on the planet at the age of two? And those are the five best superpowers that I think a person can have. Now, some people are going to complain about me not including certain powers, such as telekinesis or the power to fly. And while it's 100% true that they are amazing superpowers to have, for everyday life, they're just not as useful as the ones I've listed. To be clear, I'm not running them down because they're still amazing powers, and I did actually consider telekinesis over teleportation. But in the end, I decided that teleportation would be more useful, as it can be used to do almost all of the things that telekinesis can, and it then has more uses on top of that. Of course, that only applies to teleportation where you can teleport anything. If you could just teleport yourself, well, that wouldn't be as useful. In fact, if you could just teleport yourself, telekinesis would probably be better. But the teleportation I've described was where you can move anything around you at any point. So I think that would have a lot more uses than telekinesis. Though with that being said, this is a very subjective thing, as most people will have different ideas on what the best superpowers are. And with that being said, if you do think there are other superpowers that would be better to have in real life than the ones I've listed, then please let us know in the comments, along with why you think these powers would be better. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mass Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.